כן. Is Yang in here? Okay, I guess we can skip over the, the docs. Eric, here you are. Eric, do you want to talk about the product security working group thing? Eric, you are muted. If you are speaking. Do you hear me now? Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, so I think the only thing I had on the list was um, Product Security Working Group uh, was looking for somebody to replace Greg um, from an IBM standpoint. So um, I was just going to nominate Andrea Ma to take that role. Um, I guess that just needs to be approved by the, the TOC. Yeah, so I guess a, a few weeks ago, I did something similar. I think the, the feedback from the TOC was uh, seeking approval from the product security work group lead, which is Jacob and Oliver. So you yeah, can no. try, do you have their approval? Yes, um, I, I talked with Jacob um, on Friday, I think, um, or maybe it was even Thursday, and he had said that, yeah, they approved and that I should put it on the TOC agenda. Okay, that sounds good, yeah. So I, I guess what I can, I guess we can look. I think there's a, a thing in the community, I can just create a PR and um, we'll get their approval on there and then TOC can approve it. Uh, yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Sounds good. Any other breaking topics? Um, I know that there was that discussion uh, Doug brought up about uh, need for working group leads. Uh, in extensions and telemetry, and, and also we need working group leads for test and release. Um, I think it's probably prudent for us to consider the structure of the working groups kind of holistically, given you know the the number of leads turnover and also you know uh, decreased participation in some of the working groups. Um, I don't know if people have thoughts about, uh, you know, what might be a better organizational structure for us. Um, you know, maybe we should just, instead of having distinct working groups, maybe we should have, you know, kind of two topical working group meeting, working meetings a week, right, where any of these technical subjects could be discussed and we adjust the size or the, the number of hours spent in those meetings to meet the demand for anything topical, right? And maybe do some consolidation of that with TOC, that might be one option, right? So we just have bigger working meetings uh, with more subject matter. I'd be interested in hearing people's thoughts.
that sounds reasonable to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I mean we haven't had uh you know fully loaded schedules in many months. Um so having them split out just kind of takes up more time on calendars. Yeah, I think it was our TOC time. members. Yeah, I mean, in the TOC meeting has been pretty light to you, so it might be interesting to have work groups slash TOC. I think twice a week, probably a good reasonable starting point, and then we can go from there to see if that's the right frequency. Maybe one is more for cross pro cross working group type of topic. One is more for a little bit more narrow focused topic. I'm just thinking about here. Because I do notice sometimes when I attend it's your working group and I notice like a presentation being repetitively in socialized in different working groups. Um, maybe for those, it would be just good just to review them uh, within the TOC meeting. Do you know why they're being reviewed in different groups? I mean, I, I mean, it's a different angle, right? Because sometimes the people show up, like the environment work group, uh, sometimes they are focusing on more on their angle and networking working group more focus on their perspective. Does that possibly mean that the working groups are misaligned then if we're having things come up in different areas? Or is it just a community like not knowing which working group to go to with their proposal? I, I think it's both. I mean, clearly consolidation would help with this topic, right? Yeah, Mitch, do you have something? Oh, I just wanted to point out that uh, of recent working group meetings, some of the most successful are our APAC friendly meetings. Uh, we Those seem to be very well attended. So it might be valuable to give, as we have more and more APAC contributors this year than last year, uh, it's been a growing trend, to give them access to the TOC. I know it's fairly difficult for one of our APAC contributors to say, act as a release lead or a release manager because uh, of the timing of the TOC meeting. So if we're going to have multiple meetings per week, perhaps you know one per month or something like that on an APAC friendly time would help uh, help those contributors. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good point, Mitch. Uh, what would be an APAC friendly slot? Usually we do 7 p.m. on a weeknight, Wednesdays or Thursdays. Mm -hmm. And that's Pacific time. Sorry, recognize okay. not everyone <laughs> lives where I live. I was just going to ask yeah. at 7 p.m. Yeah, I, I mean, 10 p.m. for ideally not too bad. Like the networking work group meeting, I think it's midnight for me, which I can never join. But it's good to hear, you know, the APEC meeting is gaining momentum. And I do notice, I think we have increasing the contributor base, particularly from people in China. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, even in just the last few months, we have four or five new maintainers uh, from the APAC time zone. Okay. Uh, so, so far, I'm not hearing anybody strongly argue in favor of maintaining the existing structure. Uh, but I, I, I want to make sure that this idea gets some time to percolate out, um, particularly with other working group leads. Uh, but as a straw man, I think what we could, right, so that suggestion of, you know, two one-hour working meetings a week, and then we adjust the schedule uh, to see if we need more or less bandwidth. Um, and we don't have to necessarily change any rules. Um, Right. We can still have working group leads and TOC members, although I think, you know, from a kind of decision making and process standpoint, it probably would be sensible to have some consolidation there as well. 
um, but we don't necessarily have to take that on uh, in the short term. We can just have tracks of content within those working meetings and maintain the working group leads um, because they have specific responsibilities uh, around execution and delivery and roadmap and things like that. Um, but I think over time, it probably makes sense to look at a little bit of consolidation there as well from a, like just a, an efficiency and decision making standpoint. Well, I think, though, if you're going to consolidate the working groups, would you want at least the existing leads to be in whatever the new working groups look like and start there? Right, because well, presumably. Go ahead. You know, I think the first thing would just be. You know, we make the working groups a logical construct and not a schedule. Right. And so there, if there are two one hour meetings a week, which people show up at. Uh, there are topics that are environments, networking, right? And um, the leads for those areas still have responsibility, but they're not independently scheduling. I think the only one that has to be independent is anything related to CVE disclosure, right? That has to stay separate. Um, for well, I, I guess if we're like, consolidating based on function, then wouldn't that mean the roadmaps get consolidated as well? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm almost reticent to make, you know, lots of changes at once. Um, but I, I guess it's, I guess the way I see it, like if you want to just like share meeting time, that's one thing. But if you're going to like reorganize the working groups, then to me, that means that, you know, each, reorganize the roadmaps as well. Why would you have a working group that has three different responsibilities, each with a different roadmap? That just seems like more work for everybody. I, assuming the, the reason for this is, you know, because of participation. Yeah, I mean, we, we could look to consolidate you know, the, the functional responsibility as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that would look like. I'm certainly open to suggestions. You know, we could just merge the TOC function and the working group lead function. Right, so we just have people who are responsible for making decisions in a particular area, and if there is uh, an important decision that affects project wide, then you know the leads collected, like whatever the air quote leads are, have to agree, right? So we just merge those two roles. Um, right, that would be that we would eliminate one one level of decision making hierarchy, right? I guess maybe it would be helpful if we just specified the problem we're trying to solve. Well, I think so, there's 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 two, right? If we have participation issues in working groups, then we're consolidating. Sorry, my headphones are acting up. Um, and then obviously. You know, participation is also going to lead to issues with, you know, a lack of an available lead to make a decision in a particular area. Justin, go ahead. You're muted, Justin. So given the current status of Istio with, you know, so many users and the expectation of stability and all that, I think the biggest danger is for working groups to not synchronize and to, you know, kind of create problems by, by uh, you know, getting out of sync and making change. So I think it's a good idea to consolidate as much as possible to increase communication and to, you know, recognize that we cannot make sudden changes. And most of, I mean, that was a reason participation is low because we are not planning to make any major change 
that, I mean, that will affect stability of So I'm all for consolidating as much as possible. Point. Lynn, do you have an opinion here? I was thinking maybe we should uh, uh, offline to uh, some of the people who are interested in working on a consolidation plan, maybe a review next week, or do we want to make the change or discuss right at this meeting? Oh, uh, no, we can, we can. Yeah. I think I, you I broke off at to the make, end. Um, I think we have to acknowledge that we need to do something about this, right? That, that's the yes, definitely. Uh, and, and we have been doing some incremental things, but I think we need to look at doing something about this a bit more holistically. Um, okay. Um, Well, how about we start a doc outlining some options uh, shared with all the TOC members and the group leads, uh, and then we can review it at next week's TOC meeting. Uh, and it should Sounds come up in great. steering as well. Yeah, totally. Okay, let's do that. Uh, and yes, if, if people have feedback, please ping or um, you know well, well we'll go through a review process with this anyway but it's 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 getting pretty clear that we should do something about this okay are there any other topics Okie dokie. Well, have a great week, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, all.